Well, I'm Mr. Taylor. This is my first year at Marvelous Summer Camp, and I taught the eighth grade class this year. Marvelous Summer Camp is really to build kids up instead of like tear them down. So when kids are like, you know, lashing out or having issues, they tend to work with them and try to, you know, get them comfortable around other people and work things out instead of sending them off. I feel like Marvelous Summer Camp is a good camp for kids to be a part of. This year, we still have a lot of our specials, five star being them. We brought in the YWCA this year. Pigeon in the Hen is back, but we try to come up with experiences that the kids like and then differ and bring in new areas for them, like the talking about body image and talking about self-awareness in the YWCA. But we're also giving our teachers more autonomy this year to really work on the SEL portion, the social emotional area of what they can do with their kids to try to open them up and kind of self-reflect on um, who they are as a person and values they have. My name is Felicia Pryor and I'm a social worker here at the Marvelous Summer Camp. So my passion is for each youth, each individual child to feel seen and be heard and feel important and enough. That's why I love the Marvelous Summer Camp because it, it really includes the social and emotional aspects of um, the daily learning you know, into their curriculum. So my role as a social worker is really to enhance those skills such as um, self-esteem building, conflict management, so that our campers can take those skills and use them as success in their daily lives. This camp has given these kids a chance to be heard, but also to teach them to listen, not only to others, but to themselves. And from that reflection, they are growing to be better people. One of the things that this camp is doing for the kids is to open their minds to possibility. A lot of them are coming in here either from trauma or a closed-in mind where they're trapped in a certain situation every day. And they don't see the possibilities. And one of the things that this camp does is called a marvelous summer camp. So they're trying to teach these kids to be the hero. That really resonated with me. And I, one of the first questions I asked my students this year, who's the hero in your life? And the answer I really wanted them to say was me. Because nobody else is gonna save you. I mean, I have a lot of hope for this camp and a lot of hope for the kids that go through it because they are doing something here and it actually is important for our community. I think there's a couple of things that makes Marvelous Summer Camp different. I feel, first of all, uh, the culture of care is different than other camps I've been a part of. Um, I pride the camp on how they have put a group of educators together from the leadership all the way through the educators to the paras that really care about being here and care about making a difference. The second thing is um, we don't just focus on academics. The scholars are learning and that's amazing, but they really don't understand that they're learning. And it's not just the learning of one, two, three and the, you know, and the, the regular English language arts or the regular math and science. They are doing those things in a tactile way, but they're also learning about who they are as individuals. And I think that's so empowering for them. Um, a lot of times when a scholar enters a classroom, they have no idea who they are. They don't have the confidence. They don't have the strength. They don't, they have some of the tools in the toolkit, but they really don't understand how to use those effectively. Here at the Marvelous Summer Camp, I believe they're teaching the scholars that their toolkit is broad. They're putting more tools inside the toolkit and then they're saying now go execute and use them right away. So they're not just putting something away that will use 10 years later. They're putting something in their toolkit that they can use every day and 10 years later. My name is Jeremiah. I'm in fourth grade. And this is my first year at Marvelous Camp. My favorite part is about Marvelous Camp is that they're really fun and they, and they give kids choices and that we do fun stuff anywhere that we go. My favorite class would be Miss Calhoun because she is fun, she let us make slime, we just planted flowers and that's really fun. My name is Leah and my favorite field trip was Five Star and I like the painting class. My name is Alondra, this is my first year here at Marvelous Summer Camp, and one of my favorite things is how I met so many new people and they were all very nice and very welcoming. My name is Amaria, and this is my fourth year at the Marvelous Summer Camp, and each year it just gets better and better. My name is Gracie, and one of the best things at Marvelous Camp is to connect with people and make new friends. 
So my hope for this camp is we continue to grow it to get more kids involved with it. Right now we have about 90 kids, give or take, in the camp, um, get about the same as last year. I'd love to see that continue growing. I'd love to see it reach 150, 200 kids where, you know, we can have two or three grades or two or three classes per grade just to give more kids the experience. Because I think that that whole problem of we're stuck in school mode all the time. That's where we are for 180 days during the school year. Giving them something to do during the summer that is productive, that rounds them out as who they are as a person, but also is fun and they're still getting instruction without really knowing that they're getting some instruction and doing the academic um, is, kind of, is really fun to watch. And it's, you know, some kids don't wanna be here during the summer. I get that, it's summer, but they enjoy what they do. I wanna see this camp continue to grow so that we are impacting more and more children in South Bend.